everyone and welcome. This is Chloe from Cousin DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make this St. Patty's Day bracelet in celebration of St. Patty's Day. We'll be using Swarovski clover crystals, some 14 karat gold rounds, and a little green connector. I'm going to go ahead and get set up and I'll be right back. First, I'm going to slide this 8 millimeter clear AB clover crystal onto a head pin. And I'm going to use what I call a cheater bead. Some of you are already familiar with this. It's an 8 millimeter bead. It's my guide. Uh, I slide it down onto the stem and I cut the stem of the head pen and then I have the perfect amount of stem exposed to make a nice little loop. So I'll form a loop. Next I'm going to open that loop up and attach it to one side of this green connector. Making sure it's nice and snug. And last I'm going to open this millimeter jump ring and attach that to the loop on the other side of this connector. And I'm going to set it aside for now. Next, um, I cut a 12 inch length of gossamer stretch cord. Because I have my bead stopper, I'm going to use that today. I'm just going to cl clasp it right onto the end of my stretch cord. I'm going to start by stringing on one 12 millimeter crystal AB clover, one 12 millimeter emerald crystal clover, a gold round, and this is where I'm going to slide and thread on the jump ring of the little drop we made at the start. Just slide that right through that jump ring. Another 12 millimeter crystal AB clover and another 12 millimeter emerald clover. One more gold round. Next, I'm going to pour out all my little remaining 8 millimeter crystal AB and emerald clovers, and we'll start stringing those on. I'm going to start with a clear AB. Emerald. Clear AB. emerald. Then another gold round. Then I'm going to repeat that three more times in the same order. Now that we have all of our, our beads strung on, we're ready to tie a stretch cord knot, which is also known as a surgeon's knot. Now, if your wrist, if you have a wrist that is smaller or, or larger than uh, mine, I have about a seven and a half inch wrist and this fits me perfectly. 
you can always add more beads or reduce the number of beads. Now I'm ready to tie the stretch cord together. First step is to go around once. The next step is to go through that loop three more times and pull it snug. Snug, snug, snug. And I'm just going to give it one more knot to be safe. It's going to hide inside this gold bead so no one's going to see it. Test it out, make sure it's holding. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim the tails. There you go, it's that easy. It's such an easy bracelet to make up. And to me, it's certainly, um, it just speaks St. Patty's Day. So easy, so pretty. If you make your own St. Patty's Day bracelet, we'd love to see it. You can share it with us on Instagram at hashtag createwithcousin. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Bye.